Today I'd like to show you an example of what I call a nonsense machine. I put this out when we're looking at simple machines. So the handle goes round and round and the pieces never catch up to each other. It looks like they're going to crash into each other, but they don't. Now the question is, what class lever is this? Well, it depends on where the handle is. When it's here, this could be considered my resistance. Here is my fulcrum and here is my effort. So this would be a first class. But when I get into this position, now I might consider this to be my fulcrum, this to be my resistance, and my effort is out here. So now it is a second class. So it's changing from one type of lever into another one. And round and round it goes. Now there's one other thing I'd like to show you. Now the interesting thing is if we look at the handle as it turns around, it's actually moving in an elliptical path. Now that's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to take a marker and trace the movement and it's the handle as it turns one complete revolution. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be an ellipse. So that's what the handle is doing as it's making this trade-off from one type of lever to another. That's the path that it's following. 